I, I must be the worst crappie fisherman ever. Uh, but praise the Lord Jesus who said that he who gathered little did not have too little and he who gathered much did not have too much. And I need to acknowledge the kindness of my buddies, Jeremy and Nick last night who sent me home with crappie. Thanks guys. All right, so the purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to fillet crappie quickly with an electric knife uh, bubble blade. And one thing that I'm doing that's a little counterintuitive here is I'm using the nine inch E-Flex uh, blade on it. It just uh, bends a little better, gives me a little more better feel uh, with the crappie, even though it could be done with the seven inch blade if that's all you had. There is a redeemer, Jesus, God's own son, precious lamb of God, Messiah, holy one. All right, I'd like to start with the fish, uh, the back toward me here. First cut is right behind the gill plate. And let me mention that this is Redneck 101, how to fillet a crappie quickly. If you want every gram of meat, there's better videos out there. Like look up how to do it like a pro or how to do it like a guide or something like that. Behind the gill blade down the backbone. Turn right along the backbone. Leave a little skin tag here, flip it over. Now this part, this next cut, you want to keep the knife parallel to the cutting surface. So the handle of the knife needs to be off the cutting surface. All right, now different ways to get the ribs out, but you notice there's some meat down there as well. Now the second side, I use a cross-handed technique because I strongly prefer to have the dorsal fin uh, facing me. So I go ahead, I'm gonna hold it, I'm gonna cut it off this way. Same as uh, last time, leave a skin tag attached so you don't have to grab it with anything. Keep the uh, cutting blade parallel to the surface, uh, knife handle off the edge of the surface. All right, two very nice uh, crappie fillets. Uh, praise the Lord Jesus. Oh, and for all you guys out there who think, well, I can do it faster than that. Of course you can. When you're not explaining how to do something, you should be able to do it faster. Take another look in the good, good book. Don't let it pass you by. Let the Holy Spirit talk. Walk through the written word of Jesus. Take another look in the good, good book. Don't let it pass you by. Let the Holy Spirit talk. Walk through the written word of Jesus.